Hey guys, this is Sidesh from Sid's Art and finally I'm back to making Inkscape art. I am really sorry for not being regular. Actually, I was busy with studies and I could not give any time for making any kind of drawing. But now I'm back and this time I have decided to do something different. So if you have visited my channel before, you must have noticed that I upload a lot of flat vector 2d illustrations but now i have decided to do something which i have never done and that's called isometric illustrations so basically what happened is i was going through multiple art styles and i came across this and it's really fascinating how it allows us to draw 3d objects so beautifully on a 2d surface so i i thought i should explore this art style more so here i am so for next few days i will be making many videos on isometry especially using inkscape okay so before we actually start making some isometric illustrations i think i should just give you a brief introduction of what I isometry actually means so that you will understand what i mean whatever i'm gonna do in next videos it all it will all make sense to you so isometry is the word is a greek word and iso means equal metry means measurements so it means everything remains same no matter in which axis you put that in simple words if you have an object of let's say length x in one axis i can just keep it same in other two axes yep that that's all it means same measurement same angles now if you're an engineering student you must have already come across this kinds of drawings these are machine drawings in isometric forms but if you're not then i would give you an example which will make it more clear to you so let's first consider a cube which is a basic building block of all the 3d drawings but in this picture what you see is the true projection of the cube on 2d screen so in this kind of perspective drawings the farther you go away from the user smaller the object becomes now i don't know what is this but i will just delete this so anyways if you see these two edges and these two edges in 3d world they are parallel but in 2d world they are intersecting at the vanishing point now this is the main point which you i mean this is the main thing which you have to remember that if you are using a perspective kind of perspective projection then your parallel lines would not remain parallel okay so that's where isometry becomes different now let's see an isometric cube if you see all these lines which are parallel in 3d world are also parallel in 2d worlds so these edges actually never intersect anywhere that's so cool why because if i have to you know place this object somewhere else i would not worry about its scaling i would just drag it everywhere so even if i create multiple copies i don't have to worry about its scaling so that's the cool thing about isometric drawings and okay let's let me clear this mess there is a lot of mess on my screen okay so normally in isometric drawings or uh, the convention that's followed is that this is x this might be x y z it doesn't matter so if i get this x axis and this is z axis then this would be my y axis this one i don't know why it's not drawing but anyways so the convention that normally is followed is that the two axes which are not vertical they are aligned 30 degree with the horizontal plane okay so that's all you have to remember about the isometric drawings 
and honestly even if you don't remember the, uh, this it doesn't matter but uh, this is good to keep in mind in case you want to you know make your own axes from scratch then you would be aligning them at 30 degree with the horizontal plane all right so you might be wondering that if everything remains parallel and everything remains same then how are you going to create the illusion of depth and the answer is you don't have to create an illusion of depth all you have to worry is where you place the object with respect to other objects so let me give you an example oh i hate these things okay so this is my top plane this is my right plane and this is my left plane so let's see if i have another object of same size now the illusion of so called depth would depend on where you place this object so if i just bring it to the front and place it in the top plane you you would see the, you can see that it's it creates an illusion that it's on top of the other cube same way if i bring it in the left plane and send it to the back you can see it it feels like as if it's you know behind this object in the left plane same way if i place it here it feels like it's behind the object in the right plane so yeah that's the key takeaway from this video uh, isometry is cool isometry is easy and we will be making a lot of videos on isometry so hope you subscribe my channel and stay tuned and See you in the next video.